All right, I'm going to go over the technique we're going to use to solder wires. You can see this wire that I have right here. I'd already stripped the uh, insulation off the ends, and here is a bare copper end, and here's an end that already has solder on it. Now, the reason that I've already put solder on this end is because if I put solder on the bare copper, it'll allow the solder to flow much more easily when I join the two wires together. That's what's known as tinning. Okay, so I'm going to tin the ends of the wire first, then I will try to join them. Now, I'm going to use this little contraption right here, which is known as a helping hand or maybe a soldering station or something like that, and I'm going to use that to hold my wire. We have my soldering iron here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the soldering iron along the bottom of the wire and move it just lightly while holding the iron in contact with the wire. And what I'm doing is heating up the strands of copper so that solder will flow through them. Now, solder always flows towards our heat source. So I can just start, once that wire heats up enough, I can actually just start to put that solder on the wire, move my soldering iron along, and we'll see that that solder flowed right through the wire. Okay, solder went on the top, and it's flowed through the wire, and we're in pretty good shape. Now, what I'm doing there is I'm using this wet sponge to clean my soldering iron off. We need to make sure that we keep our soldering iron clean, and we don't allow it to carbon up too much. I'm going to take my other end of the wire, and I am going to put it in the other clip like that. Now I'm going to bring the two wires so that they're contacting each other in the middle. Again, I'm going to take my soldering iron and I'm going to start heating my wires up. And then I'm going to take my solder and I'm going to start trying, again, from the top, heating from the bottom. Put the solder on the wire. We're going to let it cool for a minute. Let's take it out. Okay, and just like that, you can see the solder joint. And this one's not awesome because the two wires aren't laying super tight on each other, but it's plenty strong. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so it doesn't matter what kind of soldering we're doing. If we're doing electrical like this, or maybe we were doing silver solder on jewelry or anything like that, the same principles are always going to be in use. The solder flows to the heat. Just use only enough solder to actually make the joint. You don't need to ball it on there. Make sure that you get everything hot and uh, then feed your solder in. Don't try feeding in the cold piece because the solder won't take real well. This is a good joint and you can tell because it's nice and shiny. Okay, if it was a bad joint, it would be gray. It would be kind of dull in appearance or it would look like there was just a bunch of bird poop on that wire. So that's the technique for joining two wires together that we'll be using.